Today I want to talk about using HTML in your eBay product listings, but don't worry, it's not as scary as it sounds. Hello and welcome to The Income Highway. This is a show where we talk all about how to build and grow your online business. My name is Paul James Carey and as you can see today is a white hoodie day so we're talking about eBay. Now one thing I love about using HTML on eBay is that you're not allowed to do it on Amazon so it's a massive advantage to be able to do it on eBay. Now when you're either adding a product or revising a product on your eBay account you will see when you're putting in your product description that there's two tabs. One is called standard and one is called HTML. Now without even going into the HTML tab you can actually get some other options by clicking advanced editing to the very right of the page within that product description box. This will bring up some more buttons on an editor known as a WYSIWYG, which stands for what you see is what you get. You'll now see that there's new buttons to be able to either make some text bold or underline it or add some bullet points or change the font size or font color. There's a load of things you can do now. All these functions work the exact same way as they would if you were typing in the likes of Microsoft Word. Now let's get down to actually going to the HTML tab. One of the things you can do using HTML is you can actually add pictures to your product description rather than just having them at the top of the page. Now personally myself, what I do is I upload those photos that I want in the description to a website called Photobucket. Now Photobucket is a free photo hosting website. When you upload a photo to them you'll actually be given what's known as the HTML code for that picture. All you have to do is copy that code that Photobucket give you and then paste it into the HTML section of your eBay listing. Now the HTML code can look very confusing and you may not know where to put that code that you've copied over from Photobucket, but I'll talk about that in a moment. Another thing you can do using the HTML tab is you can actually add YouTube videos to your product listing on eBay. Now video has been proven in the past to increase sales and I'm sure you can even tell yourself video is exploding online. Now this one's a bit trickier, so I'll try and break it down as much as I can. When you find a YouTube video that you want to actually put onto your eBay listing, if you click the share button underneath that YouTube video, it'll bring up a new option that's called embed. When you click on embed, you'll be given a code very similar to what you saw on Photobucket. Now that code itself, eBay doesn't actually allow. So you have to do what's known as converting the code to the old YouTube embed. Now I'll leave the link below for the website that I use to do this, but all you have to do when you click onto that website is paste that code in and then at the bottom click generate. This will then give you a code that you can paste into the eBay listing and eBay will actually accept this code now so you'll have a video on your listing. Now in order to place either an image or a video where you want in your listing, here's an easy tip. When you're on the standard section of the eBay product listing, all you have to do is the part where you want something, write in big capital letters, insert code here as all one word. When you go to the HTML tab then, all you need to do is find those letters or those words that you're after writing in that should be easy enough to find. And then all you have to do is highlight that and replace that with the code that you've been given either from Photobucket or the website listed below for the YouTube videos. Now this may take a couple of attempts to get right, but don't worry, it's definitely worth it. When you've added either the picture or the video that you want via HTML, all you have to do is scroll to the bottom of the page and click either revise listing or add listing. Now, if you go look at your listing as any customer would, you'll actually be able to see those pictures and that video. This should help increase conversions on your eBay sales. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you want to learn more about how to build and grow your online business, please hit the subscribe button below because there's a new video on this channel every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. It's also a podcast over on iTunes every Tuesday and Thursday. If you want to learn more specifically about how to build your business using eBay, please click the annotation over here. Thanks again for watching this video. I look forward to talking to you in the next one. Have a fantastic day.